All right, real quick. So I'm doing a, you know, be working on, be working on various productions, and I came up on this. I wanted to share, like I always do. I share. So when you get your loops or your sounds, your one shots, all right, from the internet or from even from the from machine, from native instruments, when you buy them, when you download them. Sometimes they come the way you want to use it. Sometimes they come in in different variations, all right? So this particular one shot that I got, you know, you see how you one shot a machine? This is all about machine. So it's one shot. So when I play it, you see how that's too long, right? I can't even play that. Like like keys on the keyboard. As one way to fix it, one way to fix it is you come on your machine software. I mean, you can do it on your hardware too, and they just change. I usually change it to ADSR. ADSR is when I you can play it. Now you play it. You can do. All right. Now you can do what you want to do with it, but then for me, the notes are still a little bit short. So if I want to do something longer, all right, it's a little bit short. So what you can do, you come onto your your machine, and also, um, I usually do it on if I put it on. AHD instead of ADSR. I can do this. I can see the hold. I can move the hold a little bit until I get what I want. So now when I hold the key, I get a longer note. I have a longer note this time, all right? So that's just it. Uh, many ways you can do it too. I think I have a video for this as well. You can go into sampling mode. I go to sampling mode and kind of extend the sampling on edit, all right? But this is an easier way for me to do it. You just increase the hold and set the hold. It has to be an AHD and set the hold the way I want it until I got it. That's pretty much it. All right. So until next time, peace out. Watch my other videos and check out my boomjbeats.com. Uh, appreciate you guys. Thanks.